All right, Zoran. So you focus on F5 and Palo Alto Networks technologies. Correct. Here's the popular question. It's always talk about in YouTube, in blogs, in social media. Is CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate still worth it in 2025? Not last year, mm. not a couple of years ago. Okay, next year. And this is this very interesting people because I'm asking Zoran, who is not a Cisco professional, what's his perspective? This should be non-biased um, answer from Zoran. <laughs> Let's hear it. I think it is uh, because uh, it's a good uh, um, learning path uh, to learn networking fundamentals and security fundamentals, um, which you need for anything in IT systems engineering that you want to pursue. It doesn't matter uh, w uh, whether you want to continue with net networking or security or even cloud. You need to have networking fundamental knowledge. And uh, I think in my opinion, CCNA is the best uh, certification you can take to to acquire that knowledge. Best for certification, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but don't stop there. It's not going to get you far. Uh, you need to either continue uh, to CCMP or CCIE, or you have to pair it with other vendor or vendor neutral certifications. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, it's worth it. Uh, I highly recommend it, but don't stop there. That's it. Yeah, a lot of people would say CCNA is garbage or it's a waste of time. But if you think about it, all of these vendors, Palo Alto Networks, F5, even Fortinet, mm. you have to learn the basic networking yeah. from IP addressing, switching, routing. I would compare it to some something uh, for instance you want to be formula one driver but you don't even know how to drive a car mm -hmm. can you can you do that you cannot I'm go straight to formula one yeah, or this high-end yeah. sports car yeah. from walking to formula one yeah it doesn't work like that so uh, uh for if you want to become like palo alto professional or f5 professional or whatever you have to have, I, I would say even um, like um, non-security technologies, any IT systems engineering uh, requires some level of networking knowledge. So I think CCNA is the best choice for that. Yeah. yeah. Even cloud requires networking knowledge. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of routing in the cloud, even basic NACL mm -hmm. or security groups. That is ACL in uh, routers and switches. Correct. Yeah. So I would recommend CCNA mm -hmm. as a, as the first certification. I mean, uh, if you already have the networking knowledge um, at some level, uh, like satisfying level, you don't have to take um, certification, certification exam. exam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But why not? If you already have the knowledge, just take the certification. You have one certification more, right? Yeah, it's like attending college, but you didn't graduate. Yeah, <laughs> correct. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, CCNA, I still believe, is the most popular certification. Arguably, a lot of people will argue with me, but my um, analogy here, or at least what I believe, uh, even college students, mm. They have CNAP or Cisco Network Academy program, and the students already know CCNA, all of these IT or computer related degrees. They already know Cisco. They already mm. know the first certification to take is CCNA. So if that level, college level, already know CCNA, I still believe it's the most popular. And even HRs or IT recruiters, they add CCNA, even a software programmer or cloud-related mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, job roles. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, like I said, I highly recommend, yeah. And I mean, any Cisco certification, uh, you can't go wrong with it.